much, Madam Chair. Um, I have some questions about um, suppl supplemental nutrition assistance programs and other income security, kind of what's looked at as Function 600. Um, the mandatory savings in Function 600 total $896 billion. So my question, um, what first question is, does the resolution assume turning SNAP into a block grant as in previous years, or does the resolution assume the president's plan to convert the program into one that requires a state match? Um, Madam Chairman, Representative, I think it's fair to say that when you will notice in the committee report that we plan to file uh, sometime on Friday, uh, there will be no reference in the committee report to block grants. The, uh, we've been working very closely uh, with um, the uh, House Agriculture Committee, and they have requested that we just leave that issue to be open and flexible. So we are assuming a number of savings from uh, re SNAP reforms. But you don't know about the state match. we are match. not necessarily using the phraseology of uh, block grants. And so how much does the budget assume from these changes to SNAP? Uh, approximately $150 billion over the next 10 years. And when would that start? Uh, I believe uh, about the, sometime about the mid of the 10-year period, somewhere five years, I believe. If I'm right. and about five years? Yeah, yeah most, of it, most of those savings are after the fifth year, so it'll be mostly in the savings in the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth year. Okay. Um, how much savings does the budget assume from changes to SNAP work requirements? Uh, approximately twelve and a half, thirteen billion dollars. Okay. And are there other policy assumptions that are made for SNAP with respect to the budget? I think there's some other changes uh, that are assuming, but I think primarily it is sort of this flexibility, giving states more authority to help uh, administer the uh, uh, of the, uh, the, the so-called old block grant approach or state flexibility approach that we're using today. That's really, the, I think, the primary driver. Of the ch and change. how much of the savings does the budget assume from federal employee or military retirement? Um, I think approximately, um, if, you, if I could take my glasses off and read, approximately um, about $230 billion over 10. Two thirty. Okay. And how much of the savings does the budget assume from changes to the earned income tax credit or to the child tax credit? I believe it's somewhere approximately $20 billion. But, I, but thank you for asking 20 that. for EITC or? Uh, it's both EITC and uh, the child tax credit. Combined? Combined. Okay. Um, I, th I think I'm glad you asked that question because there was some misinformation. The Republican budget, the chairman's mark, does not in any way at all reduce those benefits. The policies that are assumed in those savings is an idea that's been just considered by Ways and Means and other committees in the, or Ways and Means in the past of requiring a Social Security number for each recipient of the tax credit. Therefore, there is a, there is a need to improve the administration and the waste, fraud, and abuse of the program. But if there's for, no specific plan of how that would happen. It's just, you're just assuming there's going to be a dollar savings there. Uh, well, if I may. Um, Representative, as you may recall, the testimony from the Comptroller General, this program has been identified by the IRS, I believe, to have somewhere around 35 percent or 25 percent of the outlays for these two programs have been viewed to be going to people who are ineligible for the tax credits. Um, no, thank you for the number. I'm just saying there's no plan. It's we, Right now, it looks like we just have a number. Um, does the resolution assume any changes to child nutrition programs like the school lunch program? Okay, thank you. And so what's the remaining difference? Because if I add all of these up, I don't get to the 896. Well, there, I think there's, there are some assumptions that we make uh, that... Um, we don't share all the assumptions underlying the budget. Yeah, there's just some illustrative options on how you can get that credit. Okay, yeah, so there, there's a pretty big difference, though, between these and the total number. But It's ultimately up to the committees of jurisdiction to determine how to hit the funding levels provided in the budget resolution. Okay, thank you. I yield back. 